Now I want to show you a new concept or explain a new concept in regards to surfaces. Here we see that we've applied surfaces and as we've talked about before, each of these elements uses a surface and they mostly all have a texture added to them. So when we're talking about the garden, it has a texture added to it and the concrete forward form has a texture added to it and the rammed earth has a texture added to it and in its instance it also has a vectorial fill. So it has a ability to see lines in elevation as well. Now that's great if we're wanting to use cine render and if we want it to represent as true as possible in our OpenGL model but sometimes we don't know what that material should be or maybe we just can't represent it very well or maybe we're wanting to render in Photoshop or maybe we're wanting to render in something like Twin Motion or Lumion instead of in Cine Render, which meaning it's no longer going to be inbuilt into Archicad. In that instance, sometimes we don't want to assign surfaces that are necessarily very accurate in terms of looking real. We just want to assign materials in terms of explaining their connection or definition. In this instance, we might select all of the walls that we want to be a particular type of material, go into the setting, and change it to a very bold color. So we might make them gloss red. Or we might select something and change it to a different color. So let's choose matte yellow. In this case, I'm not saying that I want each of these to actually or finally be that color, but it's basically like a placeholder. I'm using it in a conceptual way, usually very early on in the design stage, to identify the areas that are common, identify the materials that are consistent, and then when I go into something like Twin Motion or Lumion or even in Photoshop, I can then exchange that bright color for a unique surface that is consistent throughout the project. Now, we might use we might start by using surfaces that already exist so we could find gloss red and we could use that as our basis or matte yellow as our basis now it's important to use when we create new surfaces to use one that's already got good settings if i'm not too worried about cine render then i don't need to worry about all of the settings that are built in here and a very simple setting, a very simple surface, won't have as many channels enabled or have complication in those channels which would make the rendering process slower than a very complicated type of surface. So if I go to stone, we're going to see that it's going to have significantly more or more complicated versions of these. If we go to a metal like chrome, similarly, it's going to have more complication in terms of its reflectance. Or if we go to something like stucco, it might have a bump map, which again is a complication. It's useful to make it look good in our cine render rendering, but it makes absolutely no difference in our OpenGL. So it's best to first find a material that has the general same rules or the same basis as what we're trying to create. That way when we create a surface through duplication, it's not needing to have a lot of extra work done. So we can start with our matte color, we can press new, then we can duplicate. So that's one way. We can also create a new surface from our catalog. And we can see in our catalog, our Archicad library, that there is a huge amount of extra materials that we can choose from. So there's literally hundreds of additional surfaces to sort through, to find, and then to use as the basis for our new surfaces. So this is what I'd like you to try to do now. Create some new surfaces, and it could either be a hull or a shell, meaning that it's a duplicate, new, via duplicate, and that's basically it. We don't worry about any other settings, or we could start to edit each setting apply better surfaces, or as we can see, we can create new from the catalog and then explore the vast array of surfaces that Archicad has available.
Is there an area of Archicad that you would like to learn or have a question answered? Become a patron of Archia and request a video. I'll personally provide you with a tutorial answering your question and you will be contributing to our global learning community. Request a video today at Archicad.